Well, I guess we're not having eggs. Should we get dressed and go get something to eat? Like, with clothes? Are you crazy? Drastic, I know. <laughs> but it's the hunger talking. If I don't eat something soon, my stomach will implode. We got, you know, floating rib leftovers. Mmm, day-old gloppy mac and cheese. And eggs. There's still eggs left. Not enough to throw on the floor and still whip up another batch. By the way. Don't lay that on me. You were an equal partner in the egg explosion. Hey, I promise to control myself if you will. Control is my middle name. Right, and uh, here I thought it was Maximiliano. I can't wait to see what you've concocted this time. Yeah, maybe you'll actually get to taste this one. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, sore. From your bullet wound? I knew I shouldn't have made you overexert yourself. I'm not complaining. Well, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Let's see if the eggs get cold, so stop fussing and eat. Well, this definitely looks better than the first breakfast you made. Maybe the delay was a blessing in disguise? Definitely. You know, they say practice makes perfect. Kind of makes you wonder what other things get better with practice. Playing the piano. Riding a bike. Throwing a spiral. Driving stick. Tying cherry stems together with your tongue. Naked things done in pairs. Those two. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Then we don't have any eggs left. So we'd be sacrificing our perfect breakfast? Yeah. And we shouldn't do that. Probably not. Exactly how sore are you? Not that sore. Where is the slaw? Long gone. You finished it without me? You ate the last of the biscuits. Like you eat carbs. After what you put me through this morning, I need energy. You're right. That was thoughtless of me. Will you please accept my apology and some mac and cheese? You're on thin ice, Jones. <laughs> is the honeymoon over already? Not with you. It's all honeymoon. Nathan. Maxie. Happy New Year.